In the previous two chapters, you learned how to retrieve data from the database and how to output that data on the web page. It is now time to turn your attention to another database operation. So in this chapter, you will learn how to insert new data in the database. The main process is quite simple and straightforward. First, of course, you need to collect the data you want to insert in the database. And usually you do that using an HTML form. Then you need to check the submitted data for compliance. For example, you need to check if all the required pieces of data have been properly submitted. And if the data complies with the rules, you can safely proceed with the actual insertion of the data in the database. At the end of the process, it is always good to provide some feedback to the user and to tell the user that the process has been successful. So the table of content of this chapter is the following. First, we will do some more experiments with forms in order to completely understand how the data is passed from the form page to the form action page, and also how to handle the missing pieces of data. Then we will introduce the cold fusion forms, and you will see here how cold fusion can speed up the process of creating a data collection form. You will also use a query from the database to populate a drop down menu. You will see how you can fill a drop down menu with data from the database. Then we will validate the submitted data. We will validate it client side using JavaScript and server side using Cold Fusion. If the data complies with the rules, we will proceed with the insertion of the data in the database. And you will see here that we will have to write another type of query, another type of SQL statement that Cold Fusion will send to the database. And of course, at the end, we will finalize the process, which means we will provide some feedback to the user. Let's jump right in. And in the next video, we will do some more experiments with forms.